It is 546 time for traffic and weather together with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Uh, Shay, you still haven't put together the dog breeze meter. I understand that. <laughs> I but you did say it's going to be windy as we talked in the break. So are it we is. talking uh, Chihuahua breezy or when when Beast Sean winds. is saying this, he wants to know if the Chihuahua will take flight, basically. Uh, yeah. No, it is not going to happen. No. All four paws will stay on the ground today uh, if you have Even, a Chihuahua, so you don't have to worry about that. How, how big are the gusts? About 30 miles per hour. Okay, that yeah. might uh, move a Chihuahua somewhere. It might, it might knock the Chihuahua around, little... but it's not going to yeah. knock the Chihuahua okay. off. Okay its feet, which is great news. All right, All good. Look, looking at the three things you need to know. Yes, it will be a little bit of a windy day today. Uh, it's also going to be a little bit more on the cloudy side. Clouds will increase as we head into the afternoon. Uh, gusty today and tomorrow, uh, right around 30 miles per hour at times. And then as we head towards late next week, we could hit the low 90s. I'll show you that in your seven day. But looking at today's forecast, 84 for Metro Tucson, 51 for the mountains, 77 for Santa Cruz County, 76 in Cochise County. Again, windy at times. Clouds will increase this afternoon, but we're even starting off with a few clouds this morning. We'll see a little bit of sunshine before we cloud back up into the afternoon. Looking at those forecast gusts as we head towards about lunchtime, uh, gusting anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour at this time, and that'll be the case as we head through 5 p.m. and even into the very early evening before that wind dies back down. And it's all thanks to this area of low pressure off the coast of California that's going to be inching its way towards us and eventually making its way north of our area. But there is also a little bit of a cold front associated with it, so temperatures will be just slightly cooler for tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow will be the coolest day of the next seven, so enjoy that. Looking at your future cast right around noon, a few clouds will begin to move in, but notice we'll still see some sunshine in spots clouding up as we head towards about four, five, and six, and then we'll clear things out by about 11 p.m. Uh, tonight. Uh, mainly clear for tomorrow. We do have a chance for a couple little isolated showers, but it's going to be well north of the area. Northern Graham and Greenlee County could get a little bit of a bite, but that is it. The rest of us stay dry for the next several days. Looking at your seven day forecast now, low 80s for your Saturday. Again, that's the coolest day of the next seven. Upper 80s on Monday and then check out next Thursday. I've got a 92 on the board, so that could be the mm. first uh, day that we hit uh, over 90 degrees. So it is going to be pretty warm next week. And speaking of warm temperatures, Ice Break 2020 is back and it's brought to you by Rusted uh, Southwest uh, Heating and Air conditioning and uh, there's two prizes. The first prize is an AC unit valued at $7,500 and the second prize is a weekend getaway valued at $500. Um, what we want you to do is guess what day will finally hit 100 degrees and the time. All you have to do is download our News 4 Tucson app. It's free to download. Be sure to enter. All right, that's